want to keep everyone for too much longer, but I do want to say a few words. I'd first of all like to congratulate Chair Rodericks on a fantastic budget. Your first budget as a rookie. We have two rookies, I have to acknowledge. We have three rookies here. <laughs> um, but I guess the three worked out pretty well. So congratulations on your collaboration, your respectful tone, your encouragement of people to work together, of coming forward, and your listening. And this budget is truly a reflection of all of the values and priorities of our men members, putting it together in a way that not only makes sense, but honors each individual's values and priorities, as well as our collective values and priorities, and that is not an easy task to do. So thank you so much. I also want to thank uh, the whole team. I know most of you from working <laughs> with you as well, and I know how hard you work. Uh, you know, I know, as the chair mentioned, 10, 11 o'clock saying, go home, go home. Uh, congratulations on another terrific budget. Well, well done, and uh, a great encouragement, and a great, uh, great job. So, um, really, it's something that you should all be very proud of. I'd also like to thank Senator Friedman and Senator Lewis, the Vice Chair and Assistant Vice Chair, uh, on your hard work and your guidance in this process, and all of the Ways and Means Committee. And I'd like to thank the Minority Leader, Senator Tarr, for your continued collaboration and, yes, your friendship. Um, and you are deeply dedicated and committed to the people of the Commonwealth as well. And I'm grateful for your willingness to always engage and discuss and listen to not only me, but to all of us here um, and have a very <coughs> meaningful debate and that extends to the members of the Minority Caucus as well. Thank you. And to all of my colleagues in the Senate, I'd like to extend my deepest, deepest appreciation for your kindness, your thoughtfulness, and your willingness to work collaboratively. Values that are incredibly important in this day and age and your commitment, your deep commitment to serving the wonderful residents of our Commonwealth. They are truly lucky to have you as the senators. And to all of your staff, we cannot thank you enough. You've heard it from others. We know how hard you work. We stand every single day on your shoulders. We cannot do what we do without you, and so from the bottom of my heart, from our hearts, thank you very much. At a time when people are skeptical about government, you all in this room of exa are examples, terrific examples, of how government can and does work well. And I believe that if Washington operated with the respect, the diligence, the kindnesses and courtesies that we show here in our state senate, this country would be a much better place. You have demonstrated how a terrific team can work together to accomplish great things. And that respect, that kindness, that courtesy, the values that we all hold dear are shown every single day and clearly were shown during this debate, in the long hours of the debate. And I want to say I am so honored and proud to be a member of our Senate. I'd also like to thank the clerk for, and his team put up with me with uh, experiencing a new, new way of doing this with the, with the tablet. Um, and, and just thank you for your patience, your understanding, and your hard work. Um, and I want to thank uh, the assistant clerk, Stacy, Andrea, Tom, and the rest of your terrific team for helping to make this all flow so smoothly. Congratulations. And thank you to the court officers and all of your work and being here uh, all the time to help us and guide us as well and keep things moving and in order. 
I also would like to thank Billy Rinaldi and the rest of the business office and the wonderful pages. Some of the business office work behind the scenes and you don't always see them here, but they also help make things move slow, slow, uh, smoothly through the Senate um, and we couldn't do our work without them. And I'd like to thank the staff of the Senate Broadcast Studio who make it possible for our deliver deliberations to be live streamed. And of course, I'd like to thank Senate Counsel Jennifer Miller and John and your ter terrific team as well. Um, the whole team that, that also are, are there to help us and guide us and keep us on the straight and narrow. Thank you. And lastly, I'd like to thank my staff. Uh, for all of your hard work and your diligence and excellence uh, for your service to not only me, to all of the members of the Senate and to the Commonwealth. Uh, you are truly a fantastic team. I rely upon you. I stand on your shoulders every day and could not do half of what I do without all of your uh, work and your, your dedication. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. As the tw fiscal year 20 bu Senate budget debate draws to a close, we can be really proud of the work that we accomplished here. <laughs> we expressed our best hopes for the future of our Commonwealth, and together we made the hard decisions necessary to produce a fiscally responsible budget that truly reflects our Senate values. I thank you so much for all of you for participating in this process with respect and good faith. And I thank you on behalf of the people of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And as I said, I am really honored and proud every single day to be a member of Team Massachusetts Senate. Thank you very much.